what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In 2006, Kerry Yohan, a black Buffalo police officer, intervened when a white officer, Gregory Kwiatkowski, had a black suspect, David Mack, in a chokehold. Horn jumped on Kwiatkowski's back to prevent him from harming Mack. In 2008, she was fired from the Buffalo Police Department for her intervention in that case and lost her pension. And check this out, family. Horn, who had been on the force for 19 years, was just one year away from earning her pension. The Buffalo Police Department investigated the incident, wink, and the report came back, dun, 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 that Horn had put her fellow officers in danger. Okay, so they didn't believe her. Uh, at least that's what they're reporting. They don't believe that she did the right thing. Now, Horn said that her life was ruined. She said it didn't just affect her, it affected her three boys that she was responsible for raising. Uh, after she was fired, she had to work several jobs to make ends meet. This message that the Buffalo Police Department sent was very clear. You don't tell on officers, even if they're wrong. You don't stand up against police brutality, even if they're wrong. The Buffalo Common Council recently approved three resolutions in the wake of George Floyd's death and the recent protest against police brutality. One of the resolutions will enforce the city's duty to intervene policy, which mandates that officers intervene if they see another officer using excessive force. The council will also create a task force to review police policies. And the third resolution will ask the state attorney general's office to determine how many days Horn would need to work to regain her pension. The Buffalo Police Department is one of the worst, but it's consistent with police departments all around America. We're talking about corrupt to the core family. We're talking about not giving a damn about citizens' rights. They're basically saying that if a police officer wants to kill you, right or wrong, they can kill you, and if another officer tries to get in, bam, that officer is gone. Now, of course, they got it on the books now that they got to intervene, but you know, there's always loopholes. They'll get around that. They'll still make that officer who tries to intervene the bad guy. You know how they do. They ruin that woman's life, man. The Buffalo Police Department. Be very, very wary of them. The council will also create a task force to review police policies. Now, is that an in independent task force with the power to subpoena? Because if not, y'all know what it is. This is the same police department that pushed what had officers who pushed a 75-year-old man to the ground. You remember the guy got pushed uh, during the protest and he started bleeding out the ear? This was June 4th, I believe. He started bleeding out the ear and an officer tried to help him up and another officer told him, leave him alone. And they kept walking. Those officers were subsequently suspended in a show of solidarity, 57 officers resigned from the city's uh, emergency response team, but they're still on the force. So, so, so think about this, fam. That's at least 57 rogue officers still roaming the streets because they felt offended that an, uh, other officers, two officers who were involved in that incident were suspended. 
They were disciplined. They were punished. They, no, you don't do that. You don't punish us. You know, that's wrong. I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to resign. Not one, not two of them, but 57 officers resigned from the city's emergency response team. This family is a culture. It's a culture. It's not, a, it's not one or two bad apples. It's a culture. And this is why police departments all over America need to be defunded. Because that money is basically going down a black hole. Where else can you have one of the most horrible job performances and uh, or job, job performance work records and continue to earn money and get raises and, and, and look for praises? Where else they do that at? I mean, they really get offended if you don't praise them. Well, we're doing our job and what are you gonna do? You know, you, you know how are you gonna be safe? It's bad, fam. All over America, it's bad. These police departments need to be dismantled. I know some of y'all out there, well, what you gonna do, man? Who we gonna call? If we don't call the police who bust our heads up, I mean, I'd rather have the police there, even though it, I'm taking the chance of getting beat up or shot and killed. I'd rather have them there, just know that they're there than to just be out here by myself. Let me tell you something, you out there by yourself anyway. What the Buffalo Police Department did to carry a horn was dead wrong. It was illegal. It was unconstitutional. Not only should she get her pension back, but she shouldn't have to work additional days to get it. And she should receive some form of settlement. And I mean substantial. I'd say at least a good 70, 80 million for starters. Defund the police. I'll take my chances. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?